Welcome to a new Precious Plastic video. In this video we're gonna make a mold for the injection machine, casted from aluminum, and we're gonna make these wall climbing grips. The interesting part of this technique is that it doesn't require any complex machinery to make it. It's pretty basic. It's all handmade, so it also gives a lot of freedom in terms of which form you want. Another upside is that it's relatively affordable to make something like this because it's, it's a lot of basic tools and materials. The downside is that it, it still requires quite some effort and steps to really do this. You need to be kind of a skilled mold maker. So the process is still quite experimental and this video our friend from France, Shoei, he's a mold maker and craftsman. He will be showing you how to make a mold casted from aluminum to use in the pressure plastic machine. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yes, so for this tutorial we are going to make two molds. The first one, the easier one, is only one part from aluminum and the other part from uh, with a plate still. Steel plates, exactly. <laughs> oh. And the other one a bit more complex with two parts from aluminum and still a plate. So the first step we need to do is to model the shape we want with clay. Get it in plastic later. Uh, which is important is to get uh, a proper consistency uh, because when the clay is too wet it just gets super sticky on your fingers and it could be annoying and when it's too dry then you cannot properly model it. Use a board so it's easier to turn around your object. You can use some tools like knife to model the clay to cut around to get a wrong shape like the grip, uh, I prefer to work with my fingers. It's super playful and easy. So with clay it might be a bit sketchy like this. So to polish it, that you could do is just put your fingers into water and this way you will manage to get a smooth surface, smooth texture, which is for sure better. Oh. So now we have our shape from clay, we are going to do a plaster mold around and from this plaster mold we're going to get the aluminium mold. It's going to be exactly the same but stronger. Now it is time to make the plaster. So before it's getting too strong, you can already spread the first layer on your shape. And because it's liquid, you will get all the details. Up. Uh, so our two molds are ready, just check around and thanks to the Vaseline we put, it just pop out. So here it is. Okay. So these are our plaster mold, so the simple one and the more complex one. And the next step will be to take the print of each piece with a special fundraiser um, to pour the aluminium inside. Okay, so now we have our plaster mold. Up a bit more dry and the uh, two pop mold up oh. and what we want now is from 
this to get this. So the same. For this purpose, we are going to use some foundry sand. So when you brush it, it's taking the print. So, oh. Put it right in the middle. It's done. This is what you get. Also. And this is our print. Okay, this part is fixed. All right, now we have our sand mold and what we need is aluminum. So you can use any kind of aluminum, which is also super interesting process like yeah cans piece of old machine any kind of and to melt it we are going to use a rocket stove uh, pretty basic and if you're interested about this technique you can find many information on the internet tutorials about how to build yours so let's go here we are these are our three sample one mold for each plaster mold um, so we are going to start the aluminium casting to melt the aluminium we are going to use a rocket stove so our rocket stove is pretty basic and rough uh, here we start on the fire uh, this is our bucket to melt the aluminium and to increase the temperature we are using a basic air dryer which is going to blow inside the fire through this tube here is the aluminium and here is the charcoal, just basic barbecue charcoal. Let's go! This is the fun part. Okay, I'm going to open the mold and see what's inside. So it's the clue moment. Go! So this is what we were expecting to get. <laughs> 
Cool. Next. Next. Oh. They are exactly like I was expecting for. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's wait. Everything is cooling down. Then we can just clean the border and drill the holes to connect the pieces together and start casting the plastic inside. <laughs> nice. Okay, so no, our casting is still a bit rough, so we need to clean it and drill the holes, cut the steel plate and uh, weld the connector. Okay, we have a mold. And yeah, it's quite a lot of work, but the more care you put in your mold and the more detail it is and the more detail you will get on your casting. So yeah, I think it's worth it. And now we are going to use the injection machine to cast this with recycled plastic. Aluminium mold is finished. I weld the injection cap and here are the bolts around and now we are going to cast it with the injection machine right here we injected the plastic now it's time to open the mold Hey, so now we have <laughs> hey. now we have our casting ready. So yeah, with the injection machine you can really play around with the color, do as much as you want, and yeah, get really the shape you want, which is nice. So I hope this tutorial was clear and if you have questions you can just ask on the forum. Uh, that was my sentence. Ah, shit, I forgot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to post the topic in our forums. And if you need more information, go to preciousplastic.com. And that's it for this video. Hope to see you again in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>